President Barack Obama enters his second debate Tuesday against Mitt Romney looking to regain his footing and determined to prevent the Republican challenger from scoring another strong debate performance that could further revitalize the GOP presidential nominee's campaign. And, by all indications, both candidates are braced for a spirited encounter. The rhetorical fireworks that had been absent in the first debate on October 3 in Denver between Romney and Obama are almost certain to appear at the second of three presidential debates this fall. This outing set for 9 p.m. that on the campus of Hofstra University in Thank You for Trying. Verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Hampstead, Ben Y. The Obama campaign has sent signals that the president has every intention of actively challenging Romney on stage this evening frustrating the GOP candidates' efforts to appeal to independents and moderates the way they had in their first debate. Romney, meanwhile, has hopes that a second straight positive debate showing would add further momentum to his campaign. The former Massachusetts governor trailed Obama before the Denver debate, but Romney's strong outing has breathed new life into his campaign. A slew of national and state-level polls that have shown the tighter race for the White House thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. In the 13 days since the first debate, with Romney pulling even, or even ahead, of Obama in some polling. I know no debate is ever the same and it's going to be fun to watch, maybe more fun for you than for me, Aunt Romney said Monday in Pennsylvania about her husband's preparations for the second debate. But one thing I know for sure, Mitt's prepared, Mitt's confident, Mitt's got a good presence about him and it's running because he believes in America. The Romney resurgence and Democratic hand wringing about thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. The president's low wattage performance in the first debate had prompted a shift in Obama's attack. Democrats almost universally hope for and expect a five-steer performance by the president on Tuesday, a shift in strategy that has been telegraphed by the Obama campaign. The campaign source, for instance, told NBC News on Monday that the president planned to bring up Romney's disparaging comments about the 47 percent of Americans he said wouldn't vote for him because they depend on government. Obama declined to use this and other potent cudgels against Romney in the first debate. I think he's going thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. To be aggressive in making the case for his view of where we should go as a country, Obama campaign senior advisor David Taxelrod said Sunday on Fox in anticipation of the debate. I mean, we saw Governor Romney sort of seriously walk away from his own proposals and certainly the president is going to be willing to challenge him on it, as we saw the vice president challenge Paul Ryan. The potential for a contentious showdown on national television could transform the second debate into another turning point in the 2012 campaign. Romney and Obama thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Each hold up for much of the weekend and through Monday to practice for the second debate, which is moderated by Candy Crowley of CNN. She'll serve as the mediator between the candidates and also the audience in this town hall format, where audience members will pose questions of the candidates. Obama prepared for the debate at a resort in Williamsburg, the 8th, retreating from the White House much as he had before the